and to hug the union leader who introduced him. I just want you to know uh, I had permission to hug Lonnie. I mean, <laughs> he, he, he had well, the remarks won cheers from the mostly male audience, but resulted in criticism from women's rights groups. Activists called his joking, quote, shameful. In his speech, the 76-year-old went on to signal he was ready to run for the role as commander-in-chief as a moderate Democrat and would seek support from traditional Democrats and working-class voters. Well, Carrie, there is new information about an Ohio man who's accused of lying about being a missing boy. Investigators say this is not the first time he's done this. And a stowaway captured on the Georgia coast. How the feds say an illegal immigrant made his way aboard a container ship. Plus, a local college student beaten and robbed while riding a bike home. I'm Marissa Mitchell, and coming up, I'll explain how neighbors came to the woman's rescue. Well, all new tonight, a woman is punched in the head and robbed while riding her bike in an East Atlanta neighborhood. The police say the crime happened last night and neighbors ran out to help the victim, but her attackers took off. Fox 5's Marissa Mitchell is at the live desk with details. Marissa. Well, Carrie and Sine, I went out to that community tonight and neighbors tell me the woman was riding her bike home from Georgia State University when they heard her scream for help. Home surveillance cameras captured the screams of a woman fighting for her life. Atlanta police say the attack happened at Walthall and Hardy Streets around 1030 Thursday night. That's horrifying to hear. Prayers for who it happened to. Investigators tell Fox 5 neighbors ran out to help the woman who was riding her bike when two men wearing dark skull caps and black jackets ambushed her. Those people were brazen to do it right there and, and right down the street from us. Officers say the crooks pushed her off the bike, punched her, and ripped off her backpack. Someone farther down the street told police they saw the pair jump into a gray Dodge Charger. Investigators say the thieves got away with the woman's laptop, cell phone, Georgia State University ID, textbooks, and more. When you're out at night, you have to be aware of your surroundings. I'm always in the neighborhood, uh, walking around, and you know I'm aware of my surroundings, but it was definitely a, a wake-up call for me.